Right, first things first. Then, go and keep watch. I don't want to be disturbed by any Daleks that might still be roaming around while I'm uh, involved in uh, delicate negotiations. Oh no, Polly, you could stay there. I would appreciate your uh, moral support. Right, standard communication device. Hello? 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 Dalek Mothership, come in please. Come in please. Ah, there you are. This is the Doctor, President-elect of the High Council of Time Lords, Keeper of the Legacy of Rassilon, Defender of the Laws of Time, Protector of Gallifrey. I call upon you to surrender the Hand of Omega and to return to your customary place and time. Now, my dear, we wait. Davros. I should have known. I see you've discarded the last vestige of your human form. <laughs> Still no improvement. Will you return the hand of Omega? Or not? No? Ha! Wrong answer. Remember, every time our paths have crossed, I have defeated you. And Evros, the hand of Omega is not to be trifled with. I sincerely doubt you are capable of handling the technology. Oh, spare me your rhetoric. You really believe the Daleks could become lords of time, become all powerful? Yes, yes, I can just see it now. Crush the lesser races, conquer the galaxy. Unimaginable power, unlimited rice pudding, etc. Etc. Oh, Davros, you exhaust me. You're like a broken record. You know, you may wipe out the odd civilization, enslave your occasional culture, but it doesn't detract from the basic fundamental fact of your own impotence. It's all right, Polly. I know what I'm doing. Oh, Davros, I beg of you, do not use the hand. Oh, you're making a grave mistake. It's all right, Polly. It'll be all right. Ha! Ha ha ha! you. Scarrow has been vaporized and now the hand is coming for you. Did you think I would let you have control of the hand of Omega? Really? Hmm? <sighs> Davros, your pride and your anger blinded you to my simple ploy. Goodbye, Davros. It hasn't been pleasant. <laughs>